Hey, how's it going? And it's uh, cool TV time. Uh, we're going to run a little tutorial on how to configure STB Pro, STB Emulator Pro. It seems that everybody is always missing something regarding this program. So, as you can see, I'm actually using BlueStacks, which is a uh, works fine and uh, when we click on STB Pro this is what you get so your first step this is what pops up okay so you're gonna click on the mouse or your remote on some cases some uh, Android TV boxes will not work with the mouse especially the 7.1 version of Android or the new 8 version the mouse sometimes does not function but if your mouse functions you, you go here or your remote and you click settings from settings you go to profiles and here you are so in profiles you're gonna add you're gonna select the profile that's already existing and you can put anything you want here so we put new IPTV that is fine uh, you click OK and then you're gonna go to portal settings now portal settings is up here and usually when you buy a subscription you're going to get the URL that you need for your subscription. So you're going to edit in here whatever the URL is. So let's say the URL is new dot self IP dot com. All right, and you're going to enter it, you're going to save it, and you're done. You're going to go back one step and you're going to go to STB configuration. Now in here there's a few things you can change. The rest you don't really have to play with. First let's go take a look at the model. Now model by default is set at 250. The most popular model on the market is actually 254. So you can set it to 254 or leave it at 250. The other models I wouldn't play with because they're not the most common models on the market. So we've done that. Firmware is generic. User ages screen resolution best set at 1280 by 720 or go with auto. If you're not sure what your screen resolution is for your TV, I would usually stick with this. Your MAC address. Now your MAC address, the first six digits always stay the same. Never changes. Now, seeing that this is an STB emulator, any MAC address will do. So you can change this part of the MAC address to whatever you receive from your service provider. Now usually you have to either give them a MAC address, if it is an Android box he can make one up, or you can give them one anyways. It's probably better not to give them one if it's an Android because sometimes the MAC addresses are being used by somebody else. This is the advantage of using STB emulator, which doesn't need at a specific MAC address. So for the space of talking, let's say we just create a MAC address 04 uh, F3 55. So here's your MAC address. You confirm it. Something that's kind of important, serial number. Now, the reason I'm talking about serial number, nobody seems to talk about this. Best thing is to remove it. The reason why is if you want to use the same subscription on multiple boxes. Of course, you can't use it at the same time. But if you do not remove the serial number, in some cases, it will pick up the serial number of the box and register it. So best is to remove it. Let's say you got one subscription and you want to use it in the bedroom and one in the living room. So best to remove the serial number. Click OK. So this way, when you're not in your bedroom, you can use the same subscription in your living room. And when you're not in your living room, you can use the same subscription in your bedroom. So remove Mac, remove device ID. Hardware settings, basically nothing there. So in other words, you're more or less finished here. And there's not much else to do. You've put in your model number, you've put in your MAC address. And if you go back one, you put in your portal. So now, if everything is good, all there is to do is to exit the program, which we're going to do now. And you exit, and you restart, and you're ready to go. We're going to do a few more videos. As you know, of course, our portal is not valid. 
So you're going to get this, and you should get a blue bar that lets you go. You now you get something like this because, of course, we didn't put any right information in there. Tune back in for another video on how to set up key mapping and other parts of the STB emitter. Thanks a lot, and don't forget, IPTV Cool TV, that's the place to go.